He said, Jane, come take a look at this. And we saw something and uh, it was moving at about the right speed. We would expect the, uh, a distant solar system object would move. So we're instantly pretty excited about that because we hadn't seen any other candidate object so good. It was just the first positive sign that we got in, you know, after five years. And so we, we thought at that point, yeah, we've got it. We've got it nailed. The five years, slightly dodgy funding, and nosebleeds had all been worth it. Pluto had a neighbor. It was the first discovery in the outer solar system for 60 years. They called it 1992 QB1. A new frontier had opened up on the edge of the solar system. announcement that when Dave Jewett and Jane Liu discovered their first Kuiper Belt object out there was fantastic. What it meant, and most people knew this right away, it meant that we were opening up a new avenue of exploration in the solar system. Pluto devotee Mark Bowie was determined not to be left behind. I like the you know, romantic mystique about the West. And if you think about it in that terms, the outer solar system where Pluto is, is sort of like the last frontier in the solar system. It's the place that we know the least about. It soon became clear that Pluto was far from alone. I've put together a crude scale model of the solar system. This big, massive rock over here is the sun. And then, oh, roughly here, we have Pluto. That was the picture that we had of the outer solar system up to the early 90s. Then, in 1992, Jewett discovered one object, one object out here in the outer solar system. Finding that one object said that we had this whole population of objects out there. And now, some 15 years later, we've been finding more and more objects. Three and a half billion miles from Earth, it now seemed Pluto had hundreds of neighbors. It was in the middle of a vast string of asteroids that circled the sun. So you can see now that Pluto it's got lots of company in the outer solar system now. They called it the Kuiper Belt. And even in just the small part Mark had examined, there were hundreds of Kuiper Belt objects. Dave worked for three or four years to find the first object. We use a telescope that's twice as big across as what Dave used to discover these things. And every other picture we take, we find a new KBO. It takes us, in effect, 20 minutes to find a new KBO. 